Hello ladies and gents, this is Kano from the Gamer Section back with another review. For today's review is on Moon Studios Ori and the Will of the Wisp for the Xbox One and PC. In this direct sequel, you play as Ori, a white spirit raising an owl and teaching the owl to fly. Once they figure out how to fly, they get caught up in an evil presence and Ori with the owl get lost and disconnected so Ori is on a mission to find his friend and remove the evil once again. Ori and the Will of the Wisp graphics is very stellar and beautiful. The art style Moon Studios have from its predecessor is gorgeous. The background and colors is breathtaking to its highest caliber. The art direction is down to the T and you will not want to put your controller down from start to finish. Ori and the Will of the Wisp gameplay is very easy to adjust in this medieval adventure game from its predecessor. You buy upgrades to help Ori from start to finish. The button mechanics is very, very fluid. The way you upgrade your character is by fighting enemies and collecting orbs to make your character almost unstoppable. You can play different time trials and fight bigger and better bosses, also adding more puzzles while collecting different abilities to help save the hour with Ori. While this game takes up to 9 to 12 hours to complete, it's worth to mention that the story driven graphical structure makes you not want to put your controller down after completing it, it makes you wonder what happens next. The Will of the Wisp is the freezing at times. When you go to the map and the loading re responses is a bit slow along with freezing when you're in the middle of a battle. A patch should fix these mistakes but the game it moves very flawless. For that, I give Ori and the Will of the Wisp a 5 out of 5. For more of the latest in gaming culture, check us out at the gamer section. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel.